Hello everybody and welcome back to another addictive fishing video. Today we venture 50 miles out into the deep blue in this bad boy right here. And what I wanted to show on this video guys, we're headed out to get one of the tastiest fish in my opinion in the entire world and hopefully lots of them. But one thing we really don't show on Addicted Enough is the prep work that we go through to do this. So I'm gonna take you guys step by step through what it takes and what it costs to go out and fish for an albacore tuna like we're going to today. Let's get this work started. So beer, beer can remnants clean up, step number one. Okay, first stop for today is getting ice. To get these fish all the way back from 50 miles out, it's a long trip, no matter what kind of boat you have. So we're off to meet the ice guy, fill our bins full of ice so we can load them in the boat so that we have a good way to keep these fish as we travel back in tomorrow. All right, now when I say we're getting ice, I mean we're getting ice. And enough that we need a forklift to load in. Each and every one of these bad boys is getting filled up. Time to go to work. Well, we are chilled. Let's hit the road, we got more work to do. for the most painful part of all, fuel. All right, let's see your comments below on your guess for what the fuel bill's gonna be on this bad boy. We got two 350 engines. That's a lot of horsepower. All right, drop the comment below. Let's see how close you guys get. Okay, well we maxed her out at 200, $200 limit, 41 gallons, but she ain't full yet. Round two. Okay, we're slowing down, slowing down. But the sad part is, she ain't full. Round three. Round three verdict. You guys do the math. She ain't full, right? No, she ain't full, she's still thirsty. Night is young. Eesh. Well, let's keep this party going. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. You do the math. Eesh. This sort of hobby is not cheap. It makes me love my raft days like today. Back to the house, time to get the cannons loaded. Here, everybody, is the end result of all this work that's put in. You guys have been here all day canning fish from last week's trip. What I was told is I think there's about 120 jars done here. Absolutely amazing. One of my favorite ways to eat these albacore. So let's take a couple of these upstairs, get some lunch ready for tomorrow. All right, on the menu for lunch tomorrow, tuna fish sandwiches, obviously. So we got our fresh canned tuna. This is just plain, no salt, no oil, no anything. Look at all that oil in there from the fats. It's just beautiful. Two shallots. Lots of pickles. Top of mayonnaise. Splash of daisy. Farm gar. And a little bit of hot sauce. Looks right. Tastes right. That's lunch.
in sight. Canned sockeye salmon from one of our last adventures. It's my first time trying it actually. Let's see how broken I did. Yeah, it's a two bite, no talk. That's saying something. Silver shot. Like garlic? Yeah, I put garlic and jalapeno in all mine. And I do it like I brine it first almost. Oh, hell yeah. Now that is a good sign. So there were some reports yesterday of some good friends of ours. There was two Dorado caught and two yellowtail hamachi. So very rare to get this far north. That's exactly what we're looking for to find them too, those little kelp patties, so fingers crossed. My first fish of the day. Oh, the river. Oh, the river. Jesus smoking. Jesus Moses. That's fighting weird. Andrew, this thing's fighting weird. It's not fighting like a freaking albatross. Reel it in. I mean, I can't stop it. It might be the hamachi. Hamachi! Mystery. One more crank, Ryan. Got a leader. Got a bumper. Ooh, a good size one. First one. Got a boy! We got blood! We got blood, ladies and gentlemen. Blue water bad boys are on the board. Wow. Oh, oh right there, right there. Handline fish, handline. Hand oh, pop down. Right here, handline. Oh. This is a big one. <laughs> that handline's on too. Oh, this is on too. Man. First fish. Woo! Now the work really starts. Woo! Yes, sir. There you go. I got it now. Perfect. 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 Brained him. Woo! First handline fish ever. Right there, brother. Yeah. There's the hand up. Live action. Oh. Yep. Oh, we got another one on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab the handline, or I'll grab this one, then you got gloves. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, it's badass, boy. This is badass. I think I'm under, I'm over you. I'm over you, Kyle. Boy. <laughs> a good grade of fish. Hell yeah. Here you go. Over your head, Andrew. There we go. Woo! That's a hog. Right when I pull my...
Well, that makes sense. What a hog. That's really cool. <laughs> Where's that bucket? Are you on that new workout program called Apps by Albacore? Uh huh. <laughs> you just tried it no time, brother. Yeah. because we have a backlash. Gaff me. Oh, got him on, got him on, look at that. Gaff cam, gaff cam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if he had wings, you'd fly. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's by far my biggest albacore. Look at the yellow on his back fence. Built for speed, these things are. You're ruining the fence. <laughs> now give me a good one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a still beating tuna heart. No, I, I want you to eat it. I don't know, that's a little raunchy. There, I'll do it. <laughs> that's next level. Dude. Literally still pumping. <laughs> oh, stole my meal. <laughs> Here, I'll share it. Tastes like pepperoni. Really, it's not bad. Well, our, our, our what you eat strategy sure worked. Delicious. Right there. Big girl, big. Woo! Woo! Oh, he's on you. Oh, Oh, <laughs> I'll do it, do it like every point back. 
what we're trying to do here. We got one fish on, which is going to attract those fish. Just to kind of like floundering back and forth and flashing. Then we're throwing little handfuls of chopped up anchovies into the water to get those fish's attention. Hopefully bring more to the surface and more onto our rods. Don't put that one in. Woo. Forty-five. Forty-five. Not bad. Good we'll call it sixty-nine. Yeah. Always rounds up to sixty-nine. Always round up to the nearest sixty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more work step, and we finally get to enjoy this hard day of work and feast on some tuna. So this is how you cut up an albacore tuna, everybody. What we're gonna do first, flip them over. It's best to leave these things on ice a couple of days. We actually just brought them home because uh, what it does is it firms up the skin and it makes it a lot, lot easier to cook. All the way down to the anus there. Just like so. Same down the back. Lift those fins up here. Take that at a nice hard angle all the way to the top of the head. There we go. Eat me. Pull those guts out into the bucket they go. Okay, then I'm gonna flip this thing over. And I'm gonna take right along that belly cavity right there, all the way down. And that's my tuna belly. That can be used for bait. I actually think this time around, I'm actually gonna smoke these things. So it's gonna be a full on new recipe that I've never done before, but you can either use these things for bait or chow down on them. They're absolutely delicious. All that fat in there, look at that. You can already see how greasy that meat is. So nice. Next step, just make a small little incision here. Same here, pull that back. And this is the reason, the real reason why you want to make sure to get this nice and cold and give it an ice bath for at least 24 hours just so that thing strips right off there like that. No meat stuck to that skin. Skin goes in the bucket. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, you can just run your hands, fingers right along that separation of that meat there. Try to keep your fingers from getting into those bones too bad, but I'm just gonna take my knife, just like so. And really, it'll just kind of start to peel back Right, right along those bones. There you have it. A beautiful tuna loin. Look at that. That's a lot of meat. That's the beautiful part about a thing like today. You put in all that effort, put in all that work. Go as far as we did out there. We actually ended up like 70 miles offshore today. And by the end of it all, you get to enjoy an incredible Marvel with Mother Nature. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, loins into the addicted kill bag. Okay, first things first. My staple in this is the rice wine vinegar. This is really, really the essence of this with the flavor of the fish is absolutely perfect. This is probably the most important part of this ingredient. I wouldn't use normal vinegar or anything else but this rice wine. So I'm gonna go about a half cup or so 
of rice wine vinegar in there. Yeah, and you can use any kind of teriyaki sauce, any kind of barbecue sauce if you want to. It's kind of a nice little twist. Or what I have here is Korean barbecue sauce, a little bit of a mix of the both. This stuff is freaking delicious. Goes very nicely with this flavor of the fish. We go about a half cup of that or so. A little bit of some spicy black garlic sauce. Some nice flavor. Of course, our ghost cream. Don't need much of that. That lights you up pretty quick. I'm gonna go a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. This is black sesame, sesame, a little bit of onion. And just a touch of the Wallawa River stand. Marinated. Longer the better on that marinade. You, have, you can let it set a day or so, even if you gotta clean a lot of tuna or if you can just go buy some at the store. Don't plan on eating it that night. Really, really good way to help preserve it is just putting all this vinegar and stuff on it. Okay, I got a good sear on that side there. Wanna make sure and let it cook a pretty good way through because you don't wanna have to flip this or handle this stuff very much at all. Or else it does just like what it did there. It starts to kind of bust apart. We all know how important the looks are when it comes to your meal. And what I did wrong here, you can see I did get it to crumble up pretty good. It's a very delicate meat, which is why it's so flaky and good. But what I did wrong here is I went a little too hard on the bag. So when you go to shake it up, I like to just kind of roll that stuff around, roll it up into a big long tube basically, and then you can put it in the fridge and let it marinate for a good amount of time. But I got a little carried away for the camera there. That's never happened before. We're gonna get these thinner pieces off the grill. Oh, look at that. That one's ready to go. Basically what you want to wait for is just to where you stop seeing the pink. You see, I can see some pink here inside that meat. Not quite done, but you see all this through here. It's got that little white. I kind of want that little bit of raw meat in the center of this. Really is a nice, nice texture. It gives that little bit of dryness, a little bit of crispiness on the outside from that flame broiled nature. And then you get that really nice half cooked tuna taste uh, in the center there, it was almost like that sashimi or that seared tuna flavor. It's very, very good. So is that. Mm. My effing gosh. That is unbelievable. Just as I expected. My favorite recipe of all. Mmm. That's so many flavors. And you guys, what I love about albacore tuna because it really doesn't taste like tuna. It's probably the most mild flavor, mild fishy flavored tuna in the world. So if you get a chance anywhere in the country, you can buy this stuff, give it a try if you're not a big tuna fan because it is absolutely delicious, especially cooked like this. Mm. Great grill marks, beautiful color. Still juicy, see the juice coming out. One thing you don't want to do, very, very important with tuna, is to not overcook it. The worst possible thing you're cooking any style of tuna. Absolutely will ruin the flavors. We'll take all that juicy moistness out of it. Actually, this one is not quite done yet. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Yum, look at that. Straight food sex appeal right there. What an absolutely gorgeous piece of meat. What an awesome day. Time to sit down, pig out, enjoy some good friends, and celebrate an amazing day on the water. That's what life's all about right there. Good food, good friends, and beautiful places. Today was an absolutely awesome day. I want to thank the Blue Water Bad Boys for getting me out, some awesome friends, and an absolutely killer time out in the ocean. One of my furthest trips out. So thank you so much everybody for joining me on that. If you guys want to see more videos like you saw here today, go up here and click the link in the next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below to use the comment of the day. So this person right here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. You all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.